Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Kristen and we are back in Newcrest. This is the second house of that 40 by 30 lot in the cheaper neighborhood of Newcrest. <laughs> I have not found a better way to describe that neighborhood yet. And of course I have not been back in the game to look at it either. So as of right now, I'm just calling it the cheaper neighborhood in Newcrest. It's like the smallest one, like where all the starter homes are. Um, and that really awkward 40 by 30 lot, that is what we are building on today. And if you missed it, the last episode, I built that house directly next to it. So definitely go check that out if you did miss it. It's up on my channel. It is, I think I named it uh, Small Newcrest House or a Small Newcrest Family Home. I think that's what I ended up naming the other one. Well, this one that we are building today is for the parents of the woman that lives next door. And then their son lives here as well, who is the brother of the woman next door. So... Um, I was explaining it a little bit in the last video, so I could not decide what I wanted to do on this 40 by 30 lot here. It was such like a big lot. I didn't want to do just one house. And I decided to do a park over on the lot, the smaller, like the 30 by 20 lot, I think is what it is. That's behind the houses over on the other side of the street. That lot I like to do for like a park or some type of community lot it doesn't have to be a park but that is what i ended up doing and i built that already so that will be probably the next video that i put out so definitely stay tuned for that because it turned out so good i am really happy with the part that i did and so but for now we are just working on the the parents house or the grandparents house here that is right next to that other house that i did last time so uh, yeah, like I was saying, this um, this lot was just, I did not know what I wanted to do here. And I really knew that I wanted to make it into two separate houses, but I was trying to figure out how to make that work with base game. Um, like, for instance, if you had the four rent pack, you could dedicate the different different residences of the houses and so like you could have two totally different families live here that don't even know each other and you could make this house be one family and the other house be the other family and actually set those rules so that it would work appropriately uh, but as you probably know just with the base game it does not work that way they pretty much, um, if you have, you have to have them all in the same household. And so if you don't lock the doors and you don't lock your gate to your fence, then your neighbor will come swim in your pool <laughs> or use your kitchen or your bathroom. And I definitely don't think anybody wants to see their neighbor in their bathroom or their pool without having permission. That's just uh, not very realistic. And if, if that happened in real life, there would be a lot of unhappy campers. <laughs> um, so what I ended up thinking of doing was having the family that lives in the house next to this. The mom is actually the daughter of the... Uh, the elders that live in this house so pretty much this is the grandparents house and next door is the house with the family and then also their son lives in this house with them and if if you watched the last video then you probably heard me say this last time but uh the son that lives here yes he is a grown man living in his parents house he is almost like he's like a casanova he is new the Casanova of Newcrest almost like Don Lothario but I don't think he's as bad as Don Lothario he won't be starting drama in any mother-daughter relationships or anything like that he just literally lives with his parents um I know that's not ideal either it's not he has a good job it's not that he can't live on his own he just never left <laughs> um he, he literally just never left so um he actually his career i i think i made him like a secret agent but he's only like level four of the secret agent career so he has a long way to go but um if you want if you play the save file and you want to move him out on your own, on his own then you totally can he has a career 
Like, he'd be able to. He just, he loves living over at his parents' house. He has it easy. His mom cooks all of his meals, cleans all his room, his clothes, the house. It's just literally, and I, he doesn't have to pay bills either. So he's literally just racking up all of his money. And, um, yeah, I mean, who would leave if they're happy where they are? So that's pretty much his point of view on it. And then the parents that live here, um, I did not give them a career. Uh, the dad likes fishing. Like, he is a huge fisherman. That is his passion. And the mom, she just loves cooking and she loves gardening. And so, um, other than that, that's pretty much it with the family. I don't think I got into too much detail of their daughter that lived next door. I think I spoke a little bit about them. Um, I mentioned that the dad is like a bodybuilder. He's in the athletic career as a bodybuilder. And then she's just a stay at home mom. She loves bartending. She loves, um, I mean, not so much bartending. She, she likes drinking. I guess I should say that. She likes uh, having parties and, you know, just having a good time, spending time with her family and her loved ones. And she absolutely loves living next door to her parents. You would think that that would be annoying, but for this family, they are very close-knit, so they, they absolutely love it. They wouldn't want it any other way. And so she has her parents and her brother come over all the time. They have a pool in the backyard. Um, and this family right here, the, the two grandparents and their son. Um, I don't really know how to describe that dynamic yet. <laughs> I guess I should say the two parents and their son here. The elderly couple and then their grown adult son that lives with them still. They do not have a pool in the backyard. They just have like a regular backyard. And I believe I ended up putting a hot tub in the backyard. It just, I wasn't planning on putting a hot tub in the backyard. It just kind of happened that way. I needed something to put in the backyard so that it wasn't so empty. Because if you see, there's quite a bit of space back in the backyard. So I didn't want to add a pool. I didn't want like you know, them both to have a pool. I liked the fact that one of them did and one of them didn't. And um, so basically we just have like grandma's gardening plots and then the hot tub and a little seating area with like a grill and that's pretty much it. Then there's plenty of grass. And I didn't add any monkey bars or jungle gym equipment or anything like that because there isn't technically any kids living at this house. There is at the other house next door where their daughter and her family lives, but um, there's a monkey bar set next door for the kids, so I really didn't think I needed to add it over here as well. So I kind of like the fact that the yard is really kind of spacious. It's on the spacious side. It's not like super spacious, but there's definitely room to add things if you wanted to. And yeah, so we are in the parents' room. I really didn't know how I wanted to design this room. I pretty much just left it as that. Um, when you're using base game, it's, it's hard to make things cluttered. I literally say that every single video, but it's true. Um, it's hard to make things cluttered and look different. And so I'm just trying my hardest to do that. And now we are in the living room. It's it's a very neutral color scheme in this house. And I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it, it definitely looks like an older couple lives here. Um, kind of like the style and stuff of the house. It just, it just screams old people to me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I, I guess like a younger couple could live here. But it just, it reminds me almost of like just an older style uh if that makes sense and we are over in the kitchen now and like i said grandma the grandma that lives here she loves to cook and so i wanted to kind of make it look like she cooks a lot in her kitchen that's really hard to do when you don't have any of the packs um you kind of just have to use the same thing over and over again <laughs> when you have just base game and um, it's not super cluttered, but I did put like that little loaf of bread there and then I put like a cookie jar and that's 
that's pretty much it for the kitchen. I really wish I could have added more, but like I said, it's just, it's slim pickings when it's the base game. You guys know how it is. It's not easy building with just base game and having like a nice filled room. Um, but it, nonetheless, it turned out pretty good. And so this spare bedroom, there is actually three bedrooms in this house and then like a pretty spacious bathroom right there. And so I had in my mind that this other bedroom belonged to their daughter that is now an, a, an adult. She's not even a young adult. She is actually an adult with her uh, three children and they're living next door. So she obviously doesn't need that room anymore. But as she was growing in up, you know, from like baby to teenager until she moved out, um, that spare bedroom, I had in my mind that that was her bedroom. <laughs> as a child and so now they just renovated it into a office and I had in my mind that the son that lives here uses this a lot for like his work when he works from home um, as a secret agent he does have some time where he has to take work home or he just doesn't go into the office that day for whatever reason and so he has this office to be able to do his work and then they have an easel. There's no one that really likes painting in this house, but their granddaughter, the teen next door, she likes to paint. And so maybe if she comes and spends the night at grandma and grandpa's house, she, she can use their easel. I pretty much just needed to put something there, if we're being totally honest. It wasn't like part of, you know, the story for the family or anything. It literally, I just need something to put there. And now we are over onto the entryway of the house and we are pretty, we're nearing the end. We're not far from the end, guys. This, these two houses really came together very, very quick in real time. I built both of these houses probably in like four to five hours, I think, which that might be a long time to some people. But for me, someone that is not like a pro builder in any way, shape or form, that is a really good time sometimes it takes me like six plus hours to do one house and so I, I was pretty happy about that and um, I decided to make these into two separate videos just because they are technically two separate houses and as I was trying to take the thumbnail picture it just them next to each other they look good from like in game but I couldn't get a good picture of both of them for like a thumbnail and it was a long video. I definitely could split it into two and I'm glad that I did and I, I think they both turned out really good. And as I was play testing these with the family, um, it's, it's really, I really enjoy it. Um, if I was to download the save file myself, it would be really fun to actually play this family, I think. It is it is an eight sim household, and yes, they are two different houses, but since they are the same family and they're a close-knit family, it's just, it's really fun to play this house. They're always over at each other's house, and yeah, um, I think it worked out really good. And we are into the backyard now. It's going to quickly come together. It's nothing really special. I just put these garden plots down. This is where grandma does her gardening. And then I do plenty of bushes out here. I figured grandma works out into uh, in the yard all the time as well. Not literally, cause your Sam cannot literally like trim bushes or anything, but I did these manicured bushes for that reason because grandma is really into like gardening and stuff. And like I was saying earlier, I did not know what to do in this area over here where all that grass is. I could have left it, yes, but it just, it looked a little bit too bland and blank to me. And so I ended up pulling out this hot tub and I don't use it very often. So I, I liked the way it looked and it, it makes sense. And so I ended up leaving it. <laughs> and then we got like the garden plots everywhere and I'm putting down some terrain paint now. And pretty much this is it for both of the houses. Um, at least I think it is. I don't, I don't think I add anything else. That's, that's pretty much it. So 
Yeah, with all that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then leave a like on this video so that I know you enjoyed this new Crest series. And if you have not already, then definitely subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot and help push my videos back out into the algorithm since it's been a while since I've been around. Uh, with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals, they take us high.